Hi guys, this is the third video of the restaurant management backend with Golang series. And uh, in the previous video, we created our entire project structure. We started creating our main.go file and then we have done, we're done with our uh, food router. And if you notice, as soon as I created my food router and my main.go file, the food routes uh, line, this line, uh, I don't have a squiggly line there anymore. So that means my main.go file has um, realized that I've already uh, you know, defined food routes here. So it's picking up uh, this from there. All right. And similarly, we'll define all these different routes as well. And so let's get started. So I'll start with the invoice routes first. So let's click on our invoice routes. And here we'll start with package routes. So what we're doing here is that each of these folders, right? So let's say if there's a routes folder, models folder, or a controllers folder, all of the files in this folder will all belong to the same package, which is called package routes. So when you install the package, that whole package into your main.go file, it becomes easy to access all of these different uh, functions. So the routes package has a food routes uh, function. So what I'm doing here is that, uh, you know, the package is called routes, but all of these different files have different functions. So for example, user is a user routes is a different function and uh, food routes is a different function, right? So similarly, invoice routes will be a different function and all those functions are being, as you can see, called here. Okay. And here you can see that user routes also does not have a squiggly line because I've defined the user router. So I'm, I'm hoping that you're understanding, uh, you know, what we're doing exactly. It, these all could have been in the, in the same file. All of these different uh, functions could have been in the same file and the file could have been called package routes. But I decided to create different files because it just keeps everything cleaner. You have, you know, uh, separation of concern basically in all the files. So we'll say func invoice routes. And here we'll have our incoming routes which is star gin dot engine and we'll use incoming cross function and then we'll have a get so I'll uh, very similar to my um, food routes I'll have a get all invoices get invoice by ID uh, create an invoice and I'll have patch uh, invoice with ID so very similar to that. So what I can do is I can just copy and paste it here. So in usually in all my other uh, tutorials, I type everything by hand uh, because that's what I believe uh, is the right way for a developer to you know type everything by hand so that you build more muscle muscle memory. But in this video, I'm just going to copy and paste a lot. Uh, the reason is that this is a this is complete restaurant management uh, backend, which uh, includes authentication and a lot of CRUD. So I'm assuming that you already have good command over Golang and that's why you're uh, <laughs> building this product with me. All right. <laughs> so uh, if, if, in case you, you're not comfortable with Golang, uh, do check out the other videos on my channel. I have more than 100 videos on Golang. So do those first. Don't do this if you're not very comfortable with Golang. All right. Otherwise, you'll just end up getting confused because I'm just moving really fast in this uh, particular series. I'm not explaining a lot i'm not you know uh, explaining every single line i'm just moving very very quickly because i'm assuming you've already seen a lot of my other uh, videos so here what's happening is that uh, you have uh, get invoices and then controller uh, will be our package and that will have a fun uh, file uh, sorry a function called get invoices so that's what we are accessing here so here in controller we'll have get invoice and create invoice so wherever it's food, we're just replacing with invoice, all right? And update food. Instead of that, we'll have update invoice. This also is invoices and invoices slash invoice ID. All right. So your invoice router is also done. Now, we can work on our menu router. So click on your menu router and your menu router also uh, you want to keep a very similar kind of a pattern. So I'll just copy and paste this entire thing here instead of writing it. And we'll say, okay, so one uh, small mistake I've made is that 
I should have called this invoice routes function and here is going to be called menu routes all right and here uh, instead of this we'll have menus similarly here as well menus menus and here we'll have menu id menus and menu id okay and in the controllers you'll have similar functions you'll have get menus and get menu out here create menu and update menu awesome so what we're expecting here is also that we'll have a controller so we'll go here and import controller as well in our import statement similarly in our invoice router I'll, I'll do the same i'll just copy and paste this whole thing all right and now since we are copying and pasting from food router just make sure just check once to make sure uh, by mistake you have not read, let, uh, you know left anything uh, with with food right so this should have everything with menus this should have everything, everything with invoices so everything looks good so far then we'll work on our order order router so click on your order router and here you want to have uh, exactly the same kind of a structure so you'll copy from uh, menu let's copy from menu copy and paste it here and here instead of menu routes you will have order routes and like i'm doing a lot of copy pasting right now for uh, routers i'll do the same for um, controllers also then that will ensure that our project gets over in uh, like much lesser time so here you'll have orders and order order and orders again replace this with order and order all right and here you'll again replace this with good orders get orders create order and update order perfect so your order routes is also complete all right it was very simple to create that now we'll create our order item router right so order item router uh, will have a little different structure in the sense they will have we'll have one more extra route so that's why before that we'll uh, work on our table router actually so let's uh, because table router will have the same structure as the order router so let's copy this go to our table router paste it here and instead of order just replace order if you want to you know work even faster just uh, replace order with table and let's see uh, what happens but make sure you uh, select this uh, which which ensures only when the type uh, the sorry the, the capital and all of that is also matching the case i think it's called the case matcher or something like that right match case yeah so make sure you do, did that and now we'll do the same with small o and small t all right so you're done now and this was your table routes okay now in your order item route you'll just copy and paste this whole thing here as well but there will be uh, a simple change the so this file i won't work really fast with because there's a few changes here and there so so let me do it a little manually so here i'll say order item routes and instead of tables you have order items make sure please make sure that you make this i capital right 
this can uh, be slightly confusing or you, or you might just miss it by mistake because in, in the function it will be get order items where O and I are both capital so this is why I'm typing everything manually because you might make a mistake here just make sure you get all of this right here again this order items this part will be the same in all of these uh, routes so I'll copy and paste that there quickly so this part is same and here instead of table ID you'll have order item ID and here you'll say get order item so here there's a small mistake in my get orders so this is what happens when you copy and paste very quickly there's a slight mistake here uh, it should have been order not orders and here it should have been get table not tables because get tables uh, is you know getting all the list of all tables whereas we want a particular table with a particular table id so that's why we'll say get table similarly with get order as well all right so make, make sure you make that change quickly and here you'll have get order item and then we'll have create order item here so here i can see a small mistake with my the spelling of create so make make that change as well create wherever we have create i didn't put an e I think everywhere else it's okay here also it should be create menu so this is what happens when you copy and paste you uh you can copy and paste all the mistakes as well right so you feel like you're saving time but sometimes you end up spending more time so just need to be careful where you copy and paste quickly uh, within your own code all right so here uh we'll get get or create order item and update order item all right and here definitely we'll have uh, order item id now there's one more uh, api that we'll be creating here one more route and that will be uh, if if i want if i have an order id i want to get all the order items for that order id so how do, how do I do that? So that's what I will create here. So I'll say incoming routes dot get slash order items dash order. Just make sure you get this right. Slash order ID. Okay, so this is a completely different route. It's not similar to other routes. It's completely different. Here we're getting all the order items inside that order. It's a get method. And here the function that we'll have will be controller dot get order items by order. Perfect. So if you can see all of our router files are complete. And now what we need to do is we need to go to our main dot go file and see that it has started picking up all of those files and it's not giving us a squiggly line anymore it's picking up all of those and which is perfect right it's giving us a squiggly line here so what we can do is we can say uh, go mod tidy and hopefully it would uh now have resolved that problem and we don't have those problems anymore it'll give you a squiggly line here because you have not defined a package database in middle so you've only defined the routes package and that's why the squiggly line here is gone whereas these two still remain and but these two packages have been installed so and in all your other files uh, it will stop giving a squiggly line for gengonic So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll work on our database connection.go file. We'll create this entire file and we'll start writing uh, the outline of the functions of some of the controllers. Now in this video, in today's video, we were able to complete quite a bit of work because we copy and pasted and we just uh, refactored the code. So we were able to complete all of our routers, which is great. And similarly, tomorrow we'll create this entire file and all of these different files as well.
uh, like the, at least the outlines uh, of the functions of these files at, at, at least right because there's a lot of code in the controllers so um, i'm running slightly out of time so i'll see you in, uh, in the next uh, episode thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe to this channel